Having said that, um, I want to say that you ran on transparency. You ran on not dividing the community. And the first thing that you did was lie to the community by saying, by keeping to yourself that you were planning on firing the superintendent day one. So right from the get-go, your transparency and your trust that you are saying that you're getting from your constituents, but not all your constituents, you don't, you are demonstrating in this conversation and things that I've heard so far, a, a distrust. And I didn't come here tonight to attack. I'm merely stating my observations. And let me just run down, I, I made a quote in the newspaper, uh, which I think is very valid, that whatever I have seen on the transparency page lives out in the, in the school board room. And the termination of the superintendent lit, I first read on that Facebook page. And here we are in a special meeting. So, and the CRT conversations and all of the things that I've heard as rationale for firing the superintendent, the equity committee, walking parents to class, the mask policy, which I will get to in a second, parents' rights, the last place which I will cover right now is the achievement gap, the data dump that Mr. Enos put forward and the readings, third grade reading scores. I wanna point out that th Mrs. Ziegler was a school board member during much of those scores Mrs. Rose was an administrator during those scores. And Mrs. Marinelli was here and may be able to lend a, an insight from her point of view. I never, and, and when you're expecting Dr. Asplin to elevate those scores during a pandemic, you, the, the rationale around academia is out the window as far as I'm concerned. And that's the only academic reason that people are giving. 